Hey, what's up guys? This is Krishna here. Welcome to my Houdini Redshift Quick Tips tutorial on Redshift Triplanar Node. So what is a Triplanar Node? If you look at the Redshift documentation, it states this node allows render time automatic assignment of UV coordinates projected on each axis. This technique is useful for surfaces that are difficult to unwrap and bake UV coordinates on and works for color, bump, and displacement textures. So I want to show you how this works, okay? So obviously it's pretty uh, self-explanatory, that statement is. So I'm gonna go through that right now. So I'm gonna create a geometry, and I'm gonna name this box. And by the way, this is Redshift plugin version 3037, and Houdini is 18.5.4.16, okay? It's the latest one. All right, I'm gonna dive in, I'm gonna create a box, and I'm gonna create a poly bevel. This bevel it by zero two, uh, that's good enough. I'm gonna create like divisions of four. Uh, it looks kind of nice. All right, I'm gonna set up a camera here. Okay, perfect. And then I'm also going to set up a light sort of on all three directions, I guess. Ours light, and there, one, and then maybe from up here. Ah, sort of, whatever, doesn't matter. Okay, good, oops. All right, that's perfect, and I'm gonna create a redshift output node. I'm gonna drag and drop that in there, good. I'm gonna go into material. I'm going to create a, an RS Material Builder. Oops. RS Material Builder. I'm going to call this box as well. Dive in. And um, it's kind of set up for us already. So I'm going to create an RS te Texture. And connect this to Diffuse Color for now. Okay. And, well, that's all I'm going to show you because you can work out the rest. Um, <clears throat> So I'm just going to select one of them here. Uh, I think it's Wood Beam Diffuse. I got this texture from uh, Kitbash Sample Kit. So Wood Beam Diffuse connected to Diffuse Color. Okay. All right. Good. That's all. And then I'm going to assign this in here Material Note. Okay. Good. And Connect that, okay, perfect. And let's render this now. Okay, we got this, but no, there is no, um, you know, texture coming through. That's because we need UV, okay? So let me put in a UV project, and suddenly it appears. But the problem is that you got these problems here. It's only coming up on one phase, and the rest of the phases are not, okay? Now, if I change this to, let's say, UV unwrap, that's it. Okay, so that looks slightly better. Um, but you may still find issues if the geometry is complicated. You may find that unwrapping is sometimes not possible. Okay, so for this example, I'm going to leave it at UV project. Okay, and I'm going to initialize to the best plane. All right, so that's what we got. So how can we fix that? This is where the triplanar comes into play. Okay. So if I put in RS triplanar here, there you go. That uh, I basically fixed it. All right. But before I put this in, I want to show you something. Right. So we're going to come back and fix that problem. All right. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a little transform node here. Uh, I'm going to change these to I don't know 36 doesn't matter right and I'm gonna say translate in the X direction over 36 frames I'm gonna move it to oops two yeah I think that's pretty good from there to there okay that's pretty good all right so I'm gonna jump back out and I'm gonna render this now and I'll come right back okay the rendering is done now let's have a look Okay, so the texture is following the queue, which is pretty good. All right, however, we have to fix this now, right? 
So I'm going to add the triplanar node back in and I'm going to redo triplanar and I'm going to re-render and I'll come back. Okay, the rendering is now done. Let's have a look. You see suddenly the textures are not sticking to the cube anymore. Okay, it's sliding as you can see. Right, let's try and fix that, shall we? So if I go into um, first of all, before I go into the material, we do need a rest node here. So let's put in a rest node before the transform. Okay. And let's see if that fixes it. All right. So I'm going to re-render this and I'll come back. Okay. It rendered about 25 frames. I want to show you this. There you go. That hasn't fixed it. We put in a rest node here now. Okay. Usually that's how you solve these kind of problems. But this hasn't solved it yet. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into material, go inside and inside in the triplanar node here, the projection space type. I want to change that to reference. Okay. So let's see if that fixes it. Okay. I rendered about 30 frames and let's see here. Yeah, that seemed to have fixed it. All right, so now this texture is sticking to the cube. Perfect. All right, let's uh, try something else. I'm going to go ahead and change this transform from moving to rotating. So I'm going to say $ref multiply by 10 in the Y axis. Therefore, it goes like that. All right. Okay, good. So I'm going to render this again. I'll come back to you. Okay, so it did about 34 frames. Let me run this now. You can see something weird going on here. Although it worked in when the uh, cube was moving from X position zero to X position two, it's not working any longer when it's rotating. As you can see, we've lost the UV. And this is to do with the normals of the cube. Okay, so let's try and put in a normal here at the end. And I'm going to render this and I'll come back to you. Okay, I did about eight frames and you can see about the fifth frame, it's lost it one more time. So the normal really didn't make any difference. Okay. So let's try and fix it another way. So if you go into the rest node, you see here rest normals, that is what is needed for the triplanar node, not the normal node, um, which connects to the vertex, vertice. Okay. So we need the rest normal, not just the position normal, but the rest normal. So let's add normals here and I'm going to render this again and I'll come back to you. Okay, the rendering is now down. Let's check it out. Now it's working fine. Okay, so the bottom line is if you want to use triplanar node, there are a couple of things you need to do. When you add triplanar node, change the projection space type to reference and put in the rest node and also add the rest normals. My suggestion is actually if you look at the rest, you have two options here. The first one is the deforming input and the second one is the rest position. So I suggest you put this rest after your animation and connect the rest node on the second input. And that should also work and let's check it out and I'll come back to you after this render. Okay, the rendering is done. Let's check it out. Yep, that's also working beautifully. All right. So I'm going to do one final render. Now this time I'm going to change the transform back to translate. Okay. I'm just going to reset this and I'm going to set the zero and 36 to two. And I'm going to render this uh, with this movement and I'll come back. Okay. The rendering is now done. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's working beautifully also. Okay. Perfect. Um, that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. if you can please uh, hit that thumbs up button for me as well as um, subscribe, comment and share. And also, um, please check out my uh, Gumroad page where I have several files here, which you may be interested in. Um, if you do end up purchasing it, please consider rating my files. That'd be much appreciated if you can. All right. Thank you very much. Until next time, be safe out there and have a great day. Thank you.